join us for Prehistoric Planet 2. Sixty-six million years ago, planet Earth was ruled by dinosaurs, both majestic and extraordinary. The mysteries of their lives have been largely undiscovered. Until now. us for a journey like no other, where there's always more to experience and more to discover. Explore five new worlds filled with danger and adventure. is Prehistoric Planet 2. Only on Apple TV+. Plus. Yeah, so that is Prehistoric Planet 2's official trailer. And it's a pretty good one, not gonna lie. That was, that was awesome. So um, let's get into this breakdown. Uh, and keep it pretty snappy, but... Yeah, I'm I'm still reeling from the reaction to it. Like I've watched it several times now, the the trailer because it's just that cool. Um, but it is on Apple TV Plus. So if you don't have Apple TV Plus, um, I do suggest um, when May twenty second comes around, um, there you are able to get a seven day trial. So I would I would suggest getting it a day before having the five days to watch it and then um, cancelling the subscription if you don't want to um, continue. Um, and yeah, then you can indulge yourself in the five episodes, uh, one episode per night from the 22nd to the 26th. And um, yeah, so let's get into this. So we have our two Tartia walking through their Badland home. With the sun rising from the hills, very walking with dinosaurs esque. And I do like these rock formations in the front, in the foreground here. That's that's very nice. We see our Hatsagoptrix flying past the sun, like we saw in the first teaser trailer. Um, a new dinosaur entering prehistoric planet is the Pachycephalosaurus, um, very famous species. I, I would I really like to see in the first season, but I'm glad we're getting it in season two. And it's not the only dome-headed lizard that we're getting, as you probably just saw in the trailer, but uh, I'll, I'll get into that. We have a Nanooksaurus, uh, either waking up or hunting. I don't know what's going on, but um, something's, something's happening here. Um, we have our Titanosaurs. Um, they look to be, perhaps, Alamosaurus, um, because we've... Maybe need an explanation as to what killed um, the sauropod, sauropod or what that sauropod is that the T-Rex and eventually perhaps the Quetzalcoatlus Atlas will be feeding on later in the trailer. Um, we have a Triceratops with very large horns. Um, you can see they've made the horns individual here. So you've got one that curves up at the end and one that almost... Looks like it's uh, a bit shorter and more forward-facing. So this individual's also got a broken nose horn. So this is like the old bull of the herd. And um, he's defending his alpha status, perhaps. And his challenger with um, slightly smaller, but nonetheless impressive um, horns squaring up to him. They roar in a feat of intimidation before the inevitable clash. Um, so, with this 
new dinosaur subtitle, we see Isosaurus in a volcanic caldera. I mean, it's a crater of some kind. Um, where they are laying their eggs and their hatchlings will hatch using the volcanic soil as an incubator. Um, much like Galapagos land iguanas do. Um, female land iguanas will wander into the uh, craters of a volcano and the volcanic soil will incubate their eggs and the hatchlings, once they hatch, they climb out. Um, yep, so we see the little baby here with some really cool patterns. Um, and we have, see his little beak, and perhaps that's the egg tooth on the end of the, the snout there. Unless it uses its beak to get out. Um, I don't know. Um, we see this mysterious new um, Mosasaur. Uh, I've seen people guess what it is, but um, I can't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, we'll probably find out in the show. Uh, hopefully. Please don't just call it a Mosasaur. We want to know what this thing is. <laughs> um, we see our Plesiosaurs, which are thought to be Zerapasaura, um, which you'll see why in a, in a bit. Um, the return of Velociraptor, an iconic species, no doubt. Possibly coming to Prehistoric Kingdom as well. Um, we see Ostroraptor. Um, th this is confirmed by one of the paleontologists that works on the show, um, Dr. Darren Nash, um, in a um, social media post. And um, yeah, this is exciting. Um, I know Ostroraptor personally. Uh, like I was first introduced to it in the aisle, um, but I've learned that it hunted fish, I believe, and is from South America. So some more South American content is coming with Prehistoric Plant Season 2. Our second Pachycephalosaur is Pranocephaly, um, another species that will one day come to Prehistoric Kingdom, um, as it is a confirmed species for uh, the game. So we see the one on the left has a bit of blue patterning on its dome, and the other one came up like a meerkat in the trailer. Uh, we see them antagonizing a Tarchia. This is probably just a territorial dispute, but um, I guess we'll find out later. Um, we see our Mosasaurus catching one of these plesiosaurs completely off guard, much like what great white sharks do. And I feel like it's a bit poetic how Mosasaurus is often depicted eating great whites, and it's now eating like a great white. Yeah. Everything changes every day, and in this case, every year or so. Um, so in one of the promotional images, we see a bit of better quality focused on the Mosasaur and what is the Raposaurus. So um, this is probably set in the seas off Morocco, um, where the Raposaurus is from, and the Mosasaurus dominated that region of the ocean. And um, yeah, it makes sense as to why it would be hunting this um, poor plesiosaur. We see a returning um, bit of footage of the Beelzebufo intimidating a Rapatosaurus in a swamp. Um, we see a bit more Antarctica um, coming to Prehistoric Plant 2. We did get a little bit of Antarctica last season with the Antarctopelta, but here we have a poor little tr Trinosaurus I think that's what it's called, um, being chased by Imperobata, a new um, Dromaeosaurid coming to the show. Yeah. At least I think it's a Dromaeosaur. I can't see the toe claw on there. Yeah, it looks like a Dromaeosaur. Um, might need to do a bit more research on that. Uh, we see Nanuxaurus chasing down the Ornithomimus and seeming to succeed. Uh, this dramatic landscape of the crisscross of canyons going through the Badlands. Um, we see several Mongolian sauropods. So we have the Mongolian Titan from last season, as well as the Namektosaurus wandering through these canyons. And a third species, uh, I don't know what that is. Um, so perhaps these are coexisting sauropods going to perhaps a water source. That there are a lot of different species in this shot. Now we see these Pronocephaly hiding from, or like, 
cowering from whatever is in the foreground here. I'm thinking it's the Tarbosaurus, but it, who knows? <laughs> we'll find out. Um, the return of Edmontosaurus. And, um, ooh, that one's got some interesting colours up in the top right there. Might that, um, that might just be a new species um, of Edmontosaurus coming to the series, but I don't know. These ones I recognised from the first season, but those look like they're a slightly different colour, perhaps. Yeah, that is just the, um, the haze. That could be it. Oh, and there's some Triceratops over there. So this seems to be um, set in the same area that the Triceratops um, are. So, yeah. Okay, again, Monsters and Triceratops in one scene. We see what I've heard is the young Pectinodon. So the Pectinodon is what was hunting those stilt-legged lux. Is that stilt-legged lux? Stilt-legged ducks. Um, I do know what they are because they were in my Paleozoic speculation. Uh, just going to search up long-legged duck. Um, it's it. Okay, that's not it. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, prehistoric long-legged duck. Let's try that. Um, Presbyornis. Yeah, that's it. Um, so that is perhaps a young pectinodon going after the insects. And, um, yeah, so we'll see that. So we're going to see different life stages of many more species in this series. Which is actually really cool to see because in Walker Dinosaurs we didn't really see baby Stegosaurus or um, too many other babies other than the ones that were central to the plot of the episode. So it's cool that we get babies of different species. Um, another new species is Tethyhadros, or, or is it Tethys Hadros, um, which is going to be in the Islands episode, I think. It would make sense because they lived on a European island, which is now no longer an island. Um, in Italy, it was discovered, and they adorn a unique beak that sort of flicks out like a mustache at the end. Um, going back to Antarctica, we have a n another marine reptile. I do not know what it is. Um, anyone who knows what it is could comment down below because I would love to know. Or we could all just wait till the series is released and we'll probably learn. But it's going to be interesting seeing marine reptiles among ice. That's a, an image I really haven't had before seeing um, I, what I believe is a Lasmosaur swimming around amongst sea ice. That is going to be very interesting. Um, Velociraptor with an egg, uh, we could see here. So um, we also saw some baby Velociraptors also in the trailer, but my clicking wasn't fast enough that I could get the screenshot. And I wanted to get this out um, before I fall asleep. So <laughs> there we go. Um, we see Isosaurus making its way up the slopes of a volcanic crater. And yeah, the Isosaurus just looks beautiful. I love the uh, reds and the blacks and the white neck stripes and the spines going down um, from the back of the head down to the end of the tail. It's a very unique looking sauropod and can't wait to see what happens. It's rumoured that Rajasaurus um, might make an appearance too. Given that we are in India and Rajasaurus lived alongside Isosaurus, so potentially. Um, return of Zalmoxes, an animal that we really didn't get too much screen time of in the first season, but it's making its grand return on a raft. So um, I don't know if this is an adult Zalmoxes or it's a baby. Um, it does look a bit more adult than the youngsters that we saw in the previous season. So, um, potentially, we see several different species of ammonite and cephalopod in this uh, one's shot. So, we've got what looks like some of the scaphitid ammonites we saw in the previous one, and these long tubular um, cephalopods. I've heard some people speculate that these might be baculites, the large ones at least. And, um, yeah, it's just a, 
a good display of the diversity of the Ammonites. Um, it was really insane how many there were. <laughs> You'd think there would just be one or two, but no, there were millions. And the return of T-Rex in a beautiful shot here. This one actually has a bit more green than the ones in the previous season. And it's about to be approached by the two Keptical Atlas. In this beautiful wide shot here of the T-Rex standing in front of what looks to be the same species of sauropod that was in one of the previous shots. Uh, so it might well be Alamosaurus. And this T-Rex, I've forgotten how tall Keptical Atlas is in real life. It is pretty much looking at T-Rex dead in the eye and that's one big pterosaur. And yeah, this is going to be an interesting scene. I'm actually really excited um, to see what happens here. Two Quetzalcoatlus standing up to the king of the dinosaurs. So yeah. And that is the end of the trailer. So um, if you are excited for Prehistoric Planet 2, um, I certainly am. Do leave a like down below. Subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one. Maybe it will be when Prehistoric Planet